Glad you could make it. Got some business with our friend Waltz out in Hollywood. I could use the company. If Mr. Waltz listens to reason, I should be able to get him to see things our way. Now, if not, I'll try to give you a signal. Rocco knows what to do. <laughs> You don't understand. Johnny Fontaine never gets that move. And I'm going to run him out of the business. And let me tell you why. She was beautiful. She was young. She was innocent. She was the greatest piece of ass I ever had. And I've had him all over the world. She threw it all away to make me look ridiculous. Now you get the hell out of here. And if that Goomba tries any rough stuff, you tell him I ain't no band leader. Yeah. I heard that story. Thank you for dinner and a very pleasant evening. If your car could take me to the airport, Mr. Corleone is a man who insists on hearing bad news immediately. Follow me. Keep quiet. He's got to find a way around the house. Come on, follow me. There's this horse. Oswald's mint. He's more attached to it than he is to his own prick. So I says to the guy, big mistake. And what did he do? <laughs> what do you think? He took off running. Hmm. Just like that. We need to get past the gods. Quietly. Hey, through here. Find a stall the cartoons. Yeah, not this one. This'll do the job. Go out front and keep an eye peeled. It's gonna get noisy in here. Bedroom. You lead the way. Christ, there's blood all over the place. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Christ, this thing's heavy. I love the way you do windows. What are you doing later tonight? I'm busy. I have things to do. Wait here. I'll deliver the package to Mr. Walsh. 